Xavier Nation, this is Danny Dean with GoXavier.com and we are rolling on our signing day coverage with assistant coach Mike Pegues. Now let's talk about one big guy on the team. He likes to go by Big Ken, but yeah. Contravius Jones out yeah. of Georgia, another guy. And typically re recruits, they find their way onto the Xavier radar when an assistant coach sees them. Mm -hmm. So Big Ken, in this case, yeah. he was on uh, Coach Mack. It was him who discovered him, correct? Yeah, 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 that was unusual. Um, not to say that Coach Mack doesn't have an eye for talent. He wouldn't be the head coach of the year, uh, the national head coach of the year, in fact, last year if he didn't have an eye for talent. But he did a great job of, you know, just walk, actually just walking in the gym, noticing how big Kent was, and from there, you know, he, he really realized that Kent had a really innate feel for the game. He had soft hands, caught everything that was in his radius, great feet, light on his feet, really moved well for a big guy. And, uh, you know, those are some qualities that are hard to teach when you're a big, you know, when you're a big post. So, you know, Kent brings a natural feel to the, for the game, to the table, something, again, that's hard to teach. He catches the ball. You know, when he gets his mitts on and nobody else is getting it, and that's a, a, a huge trait for a big man. Again, he has really good feet, moves his feet well, light on his feet, uh, which allows him to do a really good job of playing with his back to the basket in the post. So coach was able to identify that early on. You know, he wanted me to make sure I got on top of him and really recruited him hard, and we were fortunate enough to get him. Well, anybody that sees him on the court, he'll turn some heads. This guy is 6'11 and 290, Yes. correct? Yes. So. Correct. The, yeah. The nickname fits yeah. clearly <laughs> for that. Yeah, definitely fits. And honestly, to his credit, he's already lost about 30 pounds. He wow. was about 325 this summer. He's done a great job of conditioning and getting his weight down, which is allowing him to get up and down the court a lot easier and do a lot more on the floor. And because of a little injury issues, mm -hmm. he is also a guy that kind of flew under the radar, yeah. but X was able to spot him out. But yeah. this summer, he's picked up a lot of steam nationally, yeah. and you've coached a lot of big, great guys, but mm -hmm. what do you feel makes him a major post player? Well, again, I, I come back to the fact that he has a really natural feel for playing with his back to the basket in the post. Um, you know, his, his left hand is ever improving, but he has a really good right hand jump hook. He has a really good feel when he catches the ball in the post of where everybody else is on the floor. He's a really good passer out of the post. Uh, and if you try to guard him one-on-one, -on -one, that's a tough assignment, you know, for whoever's trying to do that. He's a big kid who does a great job of using his size well, positioning, sealing around the basket, and, and finishing plays. From sheer size perspective, Big yeah. Kent, Xavier yeah. fans are going to see him and immediately think of all East or all Big East player Matt yeah. Stainbrook, a yeah. guy that you personally helped develop. Yeah. So how do you compare these two guys? Yeah, well, Big Kent's hairdo is a little different from Matt's, but <laughs> other than that, they are both big bodies, mammoth guys in the post uh, that demand a lot of attention. You know, not only because of their size, but also because of their skill set, their IQ, their ability to read defenses and, and attack the defense the right way. You know, both of those guys, Matt and Kent, uh, you know, really had a great feel, you know, for playing with it back to the basket and scoring the ball around the rim, drawing fouls, forcing help defenders to commit to them and then making the proper pass out of the post. You know, both of those guys are essentially big point guards in the post. And uh, if Kent can follow suit and come anywhere near, you know, being as good as Matt Stainbrook was for us, he's going to have a great career. Well, we're excited to see how he progresses, and I'm personally excited to see him out there on the court. Thanks a lot, Coach. Absolutely. Thank you.